Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Old RPG Gaming. You are watching another episode of Digimon Adventure. Guys, just a little thing to clear up at the start then. I got it wrong. I thought Angemon was a champion as uh, Angemon is a champion too. So thank you to the hundreds and hundreds, well, like three of you that corrected me in the comment section. But that's what you're. That's what I love about you guys. You're awesome. You let me know what I'm doing wrong. Um, even if it is as simple as getting the Digimon wrong. One thing I would like to know though, guys, um, if she's the ultimate, uh, that means Telmon's the champion, champion Digimon. Who was the rookie in the line? Because obviously the first Digimon we saw from that line was Telmon. So if any of you guys know the answer to that question, let me know. Right then guys, what I'm going to do today is this episode, the resurrected Vino something, we can't quite see it, we're going to play this one. If we get 10 likes before I get home to record again tomorrow, so it's roughly 24 hours by the time this is up, maybe 20 hours, so we can get 10 likes before then, tomorrow's episode I'll do a double episode of Digimon Adventure because you guys love it so much, so that's what we're aiming for, let's see if we can get 10 likes on this video. Thank you to all those who shared their respects and put rest in peace for our poor wizard one. That was real nice of you guys and nice to know you're listening as well. Right then, without further ado, let's crack on with this. We've got our new Digimon in our group. That's actually quite a strong group. We got all level 30, Tai, Hikari and Sora and some pretty awesome Digimon. So let's see what this is all about guys. Time to start concentrating again because we've got past the Twilight Saga, no pun intended, and it's time to see what's next for the Digimon world. Oh, so apparently we haven't defeated him. Okay, well that was kind of like a riddle, more than a hint. Yeah, exactly, just a little gibberish. Well said, Sora. Okay, so I guess we're heading out here. It's going to be pretty cool as well. Ah! So there's still demons flying around in Japan. Okay. Well, maybe we're not completely job done on the Twilight Saga yet, guys. We got a couple of evil Digimon here to take care of. Oh, that is so cool that we've got access to Angelmon. If you remember, the first time we got Angelmon, we didn't actually have access to him because he could evolve right back to an egg. Uh, so it's nice that we've now got Angelmon. Angelmon, sorry. Uh, what that means as well, guys, is we're going to have to uh, put some digi pieces on her because obviously she's going to have nothing. Well, at least I think so, anyway. So we'll take a look at that in a second. She was absolutely key in the fight with Twilight. She literally saved us the Holy Arrow. What a move. She stole the light from this guy. He's usually our main man, but not in that fight. Back on form, good lad, Greymon. Metal Greymon, I should say. So, I don't actually know how much of this game we have left to play, guys. Um, this is like completely playing blind now. I played a little bit on my PSP, but I didn't even get into the Twilight part, let alone um, get an ultimate, did you want? So, this is like all completely being played blind, so I don't know how long we've got to go, but I hope it goes on for a little bit longer because I'm loving this game. We've just got the ultimate Digimons. Um, I'm not sure if they evolve again. Can we can we get more Digimon, guys? Please don't uh, put it in the comment section, only because other people might want to see it. It's a little bit of a spoiler. Um, if you really want to let me know, you can send me a, a private message. And let me know, but not in the comment section. Right, counter attack, that finishes off the Dark Tyranimon. Victory, yes, my friend, we've done it. 
Okay, level up for Agumon, he's now the leader of the pack. Let's take a look at the digi pieces then, and we're gonna look, of course, at Telmon. And as I thought, she's blank. So we've got a HP boost. Let's go ahead and put that in first, in the middle there. An SP boost is gonna be quite handy as well, because she's got some strong moves. Fits nicely on the side there. We're probably gonna need some attack boost for her, um, just to keep her like amazingly good. Speed boost, that's pretty cool. Uh, let's chuck that there. Everything's fitting quite nicely at the moment. What's this one? Raises the user's attack and defense by two stages. That's quite handy. It's also quite a big digi piece. Um, I tell you what, let's go there. And then if we remove this. And then place it on the other side. Wherever it was. Where on earth did that digi piece go? Speed boost 4. Well, it's gone. It just like deleted itself. What the fuck? Oh no, there it is. Must have been being stupid. So if we put that in there, it leaves that last little bit of space on the right hand side. Uh, what else have we got for her? Mega heal? heal? Well, she has an amazing healing move anyway. So we'll save that. Do we have anything else saved up down here? Increases the chance of making the first strike. Increase the item drop rate. Hmm. Could be quite helpful. Starts battle having evolved one level. That is key. Or do we make room for that? I think that is definitely key. Fuck it, we're gonna remove the SP boost. Just for now. Ah, oh, I don't know. What's this one? Um, HP boost. Speed boost. We can't really do anything by removing the speed boost. It's got to be the HP or the SP. Um, the HP only drops 200. SP drops by 40. Uh, let's sacrifice this one. Oh, wrong button. We sacrifice this. Uh, we're going to take this off as well because we're going to move it. Evo boost is now going to fit in there. And then we can put uh, the other one back on. It wasn't skill release, it was the SP boost, which is here somewhere. There it is. SP boost 3. That should still fit. There we go. That means we can fit luck as well, which is just something extra, it just fits in nicely, so that's, you know, why not have it if it fits. Let's put that one in there, and then we've got the top part, just to do whatever left, so let's see if we can't make um, an attack, attack one for her, so we want to go dismantle and get rid of everything else that we don't actually need, so escape master, uh, ambush, we don't need. Skill release, we don't need. I'm going to keep the mega heals because we'll take a look at some of the other guys as well. We haven't done this for a while, so we probably should take a look at it. Now we're going to go into synthesize. Uh, we've got attack boost 2, we can't make it. We can make attack boost 1. Um, it's a fairly easy shape to fit in. We'll do that just to give a 1 at least. Uh, other than that, I think she's pretty much done. Let's put that attack boost on. That's going to fit nicely there. Probably fit another one of those on as well, if we can get hold of another Sharp Claws. So keep that in mind, guys. Somebody may have to remind me in the comment section. Surely one of us will remember. So Agamon is stacked. Uh, Gabumon is pretty much stacked. We can't get anything else useful on him like that. Beamon? Hmm... That HP boost, I've just noticed, will fit perfectly at the bottom, in there. I'm looking at the Mega Heals. Now, she's got Heal Plus, but I'm pretty sure this is a Mega Heal Plus. Yes, it is. Uh, so, we want to take away Heal, which is this one. 
but that won't leave us a space for the Mega Hero. Oh God, damn it. Okay, well, never mind. We'll leave it as it is. Let's move on. Tentamon, uh, pretty much the same. Palmon's maxed as well. Same with Gomamon. Patamon's got a little bit of space, but not the shapes that we need, if you get what I mean, guys. So, I'm not quite sure what to do with that. I think just leave it as it is. I think it's going to be okay. And then, of course, we've just done Telmon. So, we've done all our rearranging, everything's set. The only thing that we ha probably have to work on a little bit with Telmon now is the relationships, um, the bonding between the group members and Hikari, so that we can get the like the three strikes, I forgot what they're called, bonding combos, that's it. So that's the only other thing we've got to work on guys. Focus, let's try this, it's a huge SP move, but we're giving it a go. Defense and attack goes up two levels. Uh, we go ahead and Digivolve into Garudamon. Start dishing out some damage. Time to hit back, Agumon. Giga Destroyer. Let's go for the left one first. 1995. Okay, so let's check out what our attack is when it's been raised up. Is it worth doing? Oh, hell yeah. Remember, that's a move that hits all as well, so... In theory, if there's three Digimon that we're fighting, which we, you know, it's quite common, we come across that a lot. She can have dealt more than 6,000 damage across all three opponents there, so that's fucking awesome. Giga destroyed that one. Perfect. Level up the Tentamon. And we just got another Sharp Claws, so. I'm quite lucky I remembered that because I usually forget shit like that real quick but it does mean we can make another attack boost so we're gonna do that and we're gonna put that straight onto Telmon to fill her up perfect takes her attack over 100 or just under sorry uh, what's Greymon's attack 121 wow well she is pretty strong I think the group that we've got here the three Digimon we've got there that is our strongest team, I'd say, guys. Big one, we're not interested in you. Get the fuck out of here. Are we going inside here? No? I'm pretty sure that we got a Digimon dungeon to explore as well, guys. I, I can't remember. We'll take a look at the um, end of this episode. Not quite sure where we're supposed to be going, but... There's a whole lot of evil Digimon roaming. Summit's still horribly wrong. Dodge the Bakemon. Okay, that was a fail. Just one Bakemon on its own, really. You can take a Holy Arrow. Oh yeah. Just under 5k damage. That's what we like, guys. We like to see that. Stupid Bakemon. Okay. So we're back with the parents. Uh, the Hikari and uh, Telmon are blaming themselves. Poor, poor guys. Oh man. Is he just found out he's adopted? Oh, well, at least they had the heart to tell him the truth, and he took it pretty well. Uh oh, the bats in the sky. 
Oh, it's only the little shit. They're all saying Lord Twilight. Oh, some shit's going down. People chanted the name of the undead Digimon King, the bats in the sky. This is what um, the grandpa dude was talking about earlier. When the hour reached the number of the beast, the undead Digimon King revealed himself. So is that triple six? Yes. A number from the book of Revelation. Six minutes, what? Six minutes past six, six seconds. Here we go guys, shit's going down again. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? That's not Twilight. What the fuck? Venom Twilight. Ha! Little bastard thought that he was uh, leading him and thought he, he would be an easy meal. And he got eaten himself. Let's just fuck up the elephant real quick. The Millennium, Millennium Eye on the uh, on the mammoth. Come on, Greymon, get your get your shit going. Giga Destroyer, let's take out this fucking beast. Don't need to hold back on any SP. There's a save point just ahead, and what's probably going to be the toughest battle that we've had yet. I can only imagine. I mean, the last one was tough. The guy's like fucking six times the size now, so... God knows how hard this one's going to be. Well, we're just taking care of business here, guys. Taking care of business. Boom. There we go. Mammon is dead. Mammon, I'm pretty sure that's the name of a devil... Heard that before, right? Okay, no more, no more pretending and running away and trying to waste time and fight the minor Digimon. We're here for the big fish. Let's go hunting, guys. We've a Wiggle Room one, we've a Metal Grey one. Fire away, guys, you're gonna need to fucking do more than that. He just did evolve us back. Oh yeah, here we go. We got the angel and the she angel again. Okay, so I think that just said is he he's an ultimate which is the level above perfect but I don't think that's quite correct I'm pretty sure it goes rookie champion ultimate and now I'm not sure mega is it something like that I don't know guys let me know you guys know this stuff Rank up. They're gonna have to get shot with arrows. Here we go, guys. It's gonna sting. Owie! So does that mean we're safe from this bitch now? Oh my god, some, some shit's happening here. No, no way, and we did evolve it again. No, we did evolve it! Oh my god, this is fucking awesome. You guys are gonna love this, you're gonna eat this up, I know you're gonna love it. Is that a war Greymon? Is that what this dude's called?
Yes! War Greymon, guys! If the last episode wasn't good enough... Oh, and Gapamon as well? Fucking awesome. I'm pretty sure this one... Isn't it like a Metal Garoomon or something? I think I... Yeah, look at this guy. He looks fucking insane. Nice. So we just got two... I, I don't know what to call them. They're not ultimates. They're the next stage up. And what, what are they called? Mega? Perfect? I don't know. Again, it says there, ultimate level, but I'm, I'm not sure that, that that's right. I think that's a mistake. Oh shit, okay. So we are actually fighting, guys. Venom Twilight versus the Digi Chosen, Digi Destined. Let's um, go for focus, defense and attacker, 100%. That's definitely going to be helping this fight. Uh, we Oh, what? We can't Digivolve? Oh no, we already are, okay. We got Gaia Force, Brave Tornado, Draymond Killer, and the Drain Attack. A continuous suicide attack against Draymond types. What the fuck is a Draymond type? Is that meant to say Demon? A powerful continuous suicide attack against Draymond. And fires a very pa let's let's just go for the Gaia Force. Let's try this one out, guys. That's like a fucking cummy cummy heart. Bonding combo. It's not going to scratch him because it's only from Little Birdramon, but Garudamon might be able to do a little bit more damage. I got a feeling we're going to need the healing from this one, guys. So we got we're quite lucky. We got two healers. He has got some huge HP. And he's got auto heal as well. That's going to be absolutely big pain in the ass. We dealt a little bit of damage, but he, again, look, he's doing this shit where he attacks twice, and oh, it's not going to be good. Okay, so the most important thing, she is like, we need three of her basically, because she's our healer, she's our buffer, and she does our attacks. Um, so it's a shame we can't. Duplicate her. <laughs> we may even lose Gorilla one here, guys. No. We've lost Gorilla Um. What do I have that can fix that? Revive with full HP. There we go. Spent the whole series saying about, you know, how... Um, it wasn't much of a challenge. This is unbelievable. The the second round and we're already being taken apart. Uh, we go for the heal with Garudamon. 400 is really not enough. Uh, Angel Woman, probably gonna have to go... Go Holy Arrow. We gotta do some sort of offense because if we spend two or three turns, you know, his auto heal is just gonna take him back to where we were before. See, we can deal with that. If the attacks stay like that, that is manageable. That is an absolutely horrible attack. Especially for Garudamon, he's not coping well. Right, let's try uh, the Brave Tornado, see if this is any better. I can't add up all those numbers that quick, but I think that was a higher total than before. Garudamon, I think we're just going to stick for healing. Obviously, that bonding combo is free. But he's not dealing any damage with the move, so you know, let's just use him as a health top up. You've seen me do this before, guys, if you follow the series. I try and like work it out as we're going along, as we're in the boss fights. Who's gonna be the healer, the damage dealer, and who's just kind of supporting a bit of both. Uh Saint Air is the one that raises us all up. Definitely needed that. Uh, let's try the Draymond Killer. Uh, nope, that was absolutely shit. Heal again. Uh, the good thing about Angel Woman healing as well is 
Oh no, her stats have just gone down, okay. Well, the good thing about her healing is it doesn't take her so far back on the queue for attack. Because she didn't actually attack, so that's a good thing. How long has this battle been going on for? Like five, six minutes? Something like that? Maybe a bit longer? And we haven't even dented his health. Shit. Okay. Um, the only other one we have left to try is Drain Attack. Not much use. Let's go back to Gaia Force. 2000 damage. Okay, well. We'll stick with Greymon as an item healer and a damage dealer. Uh, Garudamon is purely going to be for healing. Definitely need to use a large one for this. And then Angel Woman is most definitely our big damage dealer. 2600, nice. So we dealt 4600 that turn. Obviously, each turn he has a. The auto recovery as well, so we're losing a thousand each turn. Another big hit on Garuda one. Heal, heal, heal. We're just about holding out for SP. Everyone's above half still, so we're doing okay on that front. You just keep dishing out your guy force, bro. And the Holy Arrow, we'll take this demon down. There we go, critical hit. That's what we needed, guys. We need a couple of critical hits. Shock, break, anything like that on him as well will be fantastic. Stay on top of the healing. This is going to be a long-ass battle. Can there really be anything harder than what we're fighting right now? It's insanely hard. So difficult this fight. I mean we haven't even got him to halfway yet and we have been absolutely drumming him. 2000, 2000, 2000, 2000. We're literally smashing him and he's just got like a huge pool of health. It's nice and controlled like this at the moment. We lost um, Garudamon at the start, but getting him back was key, I think. Keeping it three against one is just as important as any any strategy that we make for this fight. Okay, Garudamon, you're gonna have to go for a healing. Let's go. Uh, do we have anything? No, 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 no. No, we don't. Okay. 800 HP is the best that we can get. It's not a lot. It means she's going to have to take her turn to heal. And then Greymon. I tell you what, nobody's actually attacked this turn, so let's use the same for him. 100 SP to all allies. That's that covered. Health is up, SP is up. Survive this and then hopefully we can just smash it. Oh, Andrew wanted to a couple of critical hits there. Right, here we go. So let's go heal all again. Now we can get back on the attack, so Holy Arrow. Let's see what kind of damage it does without the boost. 1700, that was with a critical as well. So we probably do need the boost on. Right, we got another round here, so let's... Oh, what's again? What is that? Allows one ally to attack immediately. That is fucking awesome. I didn't realise we could do that. We've got a whole new game plan now, guys. That's fucking awesome. We're gonna use we switch Greymon to be our main damage dealer. Andrew Woman is the healer because she's the most 
efficient at it. Garuda one, just literally use him to switch to Greymon. That is going to be so helpful. So Saint Air, let's heal all three. Let me know what you guys would have done in the fight. Let me know strategy wise what if you'd have done anything differently. I mean I've only realised halfway through about this again skill, which is absolutely incredible. It's gonna help it's gonna win us the fight. Because it basically gives us a double hit on Greymon, which is perfect. Uh, but let me know if you guys would have done it differently. I think we got it pretty much nailed down. I like to do this with any kind of uh, RPG game or any game where you're fighting in a party. Dedicate somebody to be, you know, like what we've done. The healer, the damage dealer, uh, the ta You know, it's quite a common thing to do in these type of games. Okay, probably going to have to do a healing one this time around. So Saint Air it is. And then here we go again, Gaia Force. And then we're just going to switch out, hit him with a second Gaia Force. And I think that works pretty well. I mean, any way that you take on this fight, unless you've literally been grinding out for hours and hours and hours, Anything you do in this fight, it's not going to be a quick fight. This wasn't made to be a quick fight. He's got a hell of a huge HP bar. But I think we're taking a good angle on it. He's under halfway, so we're doing good. Uh, let's heal once more. I don't mind constantly healing with one Digimon because, like I said, it moves them. Not so far back on the attacks. That Digimon is beast though. This Venom Twilight is a fucking demon. Again for more Greymon. Gaia Falls. And then another round of healing. Is he getting stronger? Because we've had to heal for the last three rounds. Nice. Well, we can afford to go Hurley Arrow for this one. That'll cancel out his auto heal. All those counter attacks from Greymon, they got to be adding up as well now. He's so fucking strong. Gaia Force, and then obviously we're going to do what we've been doing. So we're going to go not attack. <laughs> we're going to go again on Greymon, and then hit him with a second Gaia Force. Nice, that's over 4,000 damage that round. We're getting there, he's got, he's got around a corner. He's only got about a quarter health left. We have to survive this. No! No! Oh shit, oh shit, okay. So we need the lifesaver kit. Uh, for a little Telmon here. Telmon is then going to have the Digivolve as well, which is kind of a well, waste of time, doesn't it? Did you evolve into Angel Woman? Ah, oh, just notice as well, War Greymon is pretty low on SP. Um, let's go Saint Air, make sure we got full health. Use Garudamon to do SP. Greymon can attack still. Angel Woman probably going to be to heal. God, if they keep taking critical hits, 
You're gonna be in trouble. Okay, so SP heal. Uh, recover 100 SP for one ally. Let's go on to War Greymon for that. We're nearly there. We just gotta push ourselves over the line. Uh, we're heal with Andrew Woman. And then hit him with a Gaia Force. So that takes 20 per time. We've got five of those left. Hopefully we can finish him off with five more. I hope so. Andrew Woman's low on SP as well. Yeah, we go. That's going to help. Critical hit as well. That helps even more. So let's go again on War Greymon. Hit with the Gaia Force. We are so, so close. We've only got about two heals left though before she needs SP, so we're pushing it. It is pushing it. Starting to run out of a little bit of everything here, guys. Items included. We're lucky that we have the lifesaver kits and so many of them as well. Okay, Gaia Force. Saint Air. Definitely the toughest fight that we've had in this game, without without a doubt. War Greymon, hit him again, Gaia Force. So, so, so close. Maybe one more, one more round, maybe two. Come on. No criticals. That's key. Come on, no criticals. No. Oh, no. Andrew Woman hit break. Right, this is it. I think we're just going to go full out. We can take him on this turn. No, 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 no. I didn't realise it was his turn. No. I thought that was uh, War Greymon next. Shit. Come on, guys, stay alive. Yes, he missed all three. Luck couldn't have been any more on our side than it was right there. Gaia Force. Come on. Uh, we want to go. Uh, what do we got? Skill. Again. Look, he's got 23 SP left. He's going to use 20 for a final Gaia Force. Fingers crossed, this is it, guys. Come on. Is that it? Yes! We beat him. Fuck you, Venom Twilight. Suck a dick. Look at that. Like a Roman Reigns roar. I love it. Whoa, full level up as well. Fucking right. We better get some good items. Super counter. Inflicts a counter-attack when you receive damage. Okay, well, I'm just going to go and take a guess that that's stronger than a standard counter. Pretty handy. What? Are you shit me? We're going to fight his stomach now? What, we're going to beat his stomach and then we're going to move down to his dick? I really cannot fight anymore. How much HP has this dude got? No, no fucking way, that's impossible. It can't be done. How has he got so much? We are completely wiped out of uh, items. Uh, this is not good, guys. Not good at all. He has quite literally got exactly the same health as before as well. I can't do this. We're going to die. Chaos Flame. Is this a new fucking move? Yeah. Big hit one as well. What the fuck? So she's going to have to stay on healing again.
I swear he just snuck in front there. I swear he wasn't next. Game's trying to screw me over here, guys. Such powerful moves as well. Right. Gaia Force, come on. Fuck him up. Oh my god, this is no fucking way. Um, again. It's gonna have to be again. Come on, Gaia Force again. Free Holy Arrow, that's that's the kind of thing that we need every time. We're, we're not even denting him, what the fuck? Are we meant to lose this battle or something? Chaos Wayne, this is a big new move. All these continuous actions as well. Makes it look like he gets like three turns in one. Right, let's go. Saint Air. And then we've got just enough SP to hit the Gaia Force and have Garunamon summon him up again for another one. There must be an easier way to kill this fucker. Must be. Oh my days. This is some difficult shit guys. I really didn't expect to be straight into a rematch with him. And him have full health. And a new fucking move. I mean, come on. Focus. You focus. Shame we can't use that on more Grey because then he'd be beast. Uh, we're on more Grey now. Let's go. SPDS recovers all allies. That's the only thing we have. Uh, 4 HP and SP. That's quite handy. Raise attack by one level. All allies. Do you know what? Fuck it. Let's, let's make him eat the meat. We're going to use... Andrew Woman to attack. Then we're going to use Garudamon to use the attack chip for the allies. Right, let's survive this. Garudamon, I'm especially meaning you. Do not fucking die. And then we can hit him with a big wave of fucking attacks. Hopefully we get a critical in there. They've all got raised attack at the moment. Okay, let's let's fuck him up. So Gaia 4 should do some big damage now. Nearly 3,000. That's better, right. Uh, we go again. On the War Grey Mon. This is literally like nothing we've done so far in this game. We are literally... Having to use every item, every skill, every tactic. This really is a boss fight. I love it. Holy Arrow, while well, we've got that high attack. Now we're starting to make a dent. The only, the only thing is, guys, it's so hard to do that for multiple turns because he deals so much damage. There goes Garudamon. Could be the start of the end. Shit. What happens if we go into strategy? We can't switch out for another Digimon. Um. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Life saving kill. This is our last one. Then we're going to have to go for St. Air. We're going to have to. So that means that's more health that he's going to recover with his auto. He's probably going to not be a one out because she's only a rookie. Huge damage. Nearly half her health. He's still got another attack as well. And it's the big one. Please don't kill BM1. Please don't kill BM1. 
Oh shit, that was close. Okay, um... You go ahead and hit the guy Force while he still got some sort of attack. Definitely Digivolve. Let's get Garudamon to eat the meat. Angel Woman's now dropped, so... Let's go, Holy Arrow, fuck it. I'm doing my best, I promise you guys, I'm doing everything I can think to do here, but I just can't see this. I can't see us getting past this. He is ridiculously strong. Uh, what skills do you have? Hang on here. Raise defense by two levels, all allies. Let's use this. But it only used it on War Greymon? What the fuck? It said all allies. I hate typing errors. If you're going to translate some shit, do it properly. Oh, fuck me. We're, we're in this shit, guys. Gaia Force. If in doubt, flat out. Definitely need the heal. And then we're going to go again for War Greymon. And him again with Guy Force. You can hear the excitement draining from my voice. We're just prolonging the inevitable, I think, guys. It's just too, too strong. Way too strong. Beating them once was doable. Twice? In a row? No fucking way. Especially as he auto heals. And attacks us like five times in one turn. Bastard. Right, okay. I'm gonna go for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven times around four. What's that? Uh, seven, fourteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight. That actually does more damage, so we're gonna move to that move. Uh, shame we didn't do that earlier. But that does work out to do more damage, so let's pull him back again. And it's obviously six chances at critical rather than just one. It's less SP. Nice. Angel one. You're gonna have to unfortunately we gotta keep our healing. Kinda takes her out of the fight because none of the others have the capability to heal like this. Brave Tornado also means he gets another hit in before the round because it's not his strongest move, so that's actually fucking awesome. Everybody's full health, uh, go for focus because the defense boost will help her massively. And then if we do get to attack with her, she'll deal some big damage. Gonna need an SP top up on Andrew Woman soon. Right, let's go. Meet for Ange Woman. Ange Woman, you can attack. And then we're going to go Brave Tornado. Because Garudamon didn't actually attack. We've managed to get one more. Oh shit, okay, he needs help as well. Um, let's go medium recovery capsule on Garudamon. 
Should keep him alive for this round. Should do. Come on, please don't die. 1500 attack, uh, HP, come on. No, oh, you motherfucker. So close. Right. Saint Air. Keep everyone alive, come on. Definitely need to attack Brave Tornado. Hit him up. Fuck him up. Again. Uh, yeah, again on War Greymon. Again, fuck him up. Brave Tornado. I hate that fucking Digimon, guys. I hate him. Make him a fucking ass itch. No, 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 no. <gasps> Ooh, oh, that was close. Okay. Look at his HP bar. We're so fucking. We nearly lost Garuda on there, guys, and we don't have anything to bring him back. Brave Tornado, come on. Gremlin's going to have to take a break pretty soon anyway because he's running out of SP. Um, Ange Woman's next. She's going to double heal. That's fantastic. So that means we can go again for War Gremlin. He's got room for one more Brave Tornado. Three criticals in there. That was good. Oh, yes. Free bonding combo. And she had the heightened attack. We got that attacking just before it dropped back, so that was that worked really well. Uh, Saint Air is going to keep Garuda one alive. We need some SP for more Greymon. That's our next focus. God, we're literally playing this um, stage by stage. We're not even going plan for this battle. I didn't think we'd be alive right now, guys. And yet we've got him on the halfway, so maybe there's hope. We are real fucking short on items, but maybe, just maybe, we can squeeze this one. Like I said, I just hope we don't have to fight his dick, then his shins, then his toes. <laughs> Brave Tornado, come on. And if you can give me a bonding combo, that would be insane. Oh, fuck you then. Um, we're going to have to do the healing because he's up next. It's starting to come back. The excitement's starting to reappear. Bit of faith. This is a hell of a long episode, guys, and the majority of it has been fighting this fucker. Hope you're enjoying this, guys. I hope you're on the edge of your seat wondering, are we going to defeat this dude? Is it possible? Right, Garudamon, you are going to have to... Oh, that's not really... Oh, okay, meat. Meat is good. Meat for War Greymon. Yes, full SP. Good. Uh, we're going to go... Saint Air to get the other two's health up. That should max out their health again. Yes, fan-fucking-tastic. And then Greymon still gets his hit in with the Brave Tornado. Just seen something else in our item bank that we're going to go ahead and use here, guys. And that is the attack chips. Let's get War Greymon boosted up. He's our damage dealer. He's pretty much attacking every turn. We need to try and just, you know, throw everything we've got at this guy. It means we're going to have no items afterwards. I'm probably going to have a heart attack when we get to the last HP of this dude, but it's all going to be worth it. You better be hitting like on this video, guys. <laughs> Go ahead. I won't stop you. Smash that thumbs up button. Right, we're all healed. Good. Our favourite dude's up next. Brave Tornado. War Greymon. I mean, how fucking awesome is it that we even got two new Digimon in this episode? I mean, I honestly thought the last episode was probably one of the best that we've we've had in a while um, obviously because the story had been concluding and coming up to it 
But, you know, this is top tier. This is a fucking hell of a fight. Brave Tornado, whip his ass. Right, I make it about 25%. He's got about a quarter of his health left. Stay in there, stick with it, guys. Yes, critical counter. Miss. Counter again, good. Okay, so Andrew Woman, you go ahead and heal everybody. We're gonna get Wargrave onto attack, Garuda one to hit again, Wargrave onto attack, and then we got Andrew Woman as well, who can chuck in the Holy Arrow. So let's get that in motion, guys. So we're gonna go Brave Tornado. Then we're gonna hit him with the skill again. And bring him back War Raymond. Hit with another Brave Tornado. I mean, if we were to get a bonding combo arrow right here, please. Yes! Bonding combo, free holy arrow. And then we can chuck another one at him as well. Fuck you. Nice. Now we've done it. We're gonna fucking do it, guys. Look at that. We got three Digimon who had full HP before that attack. Everybody's got enough SP to finish the fight. We've fucking done it. We're going to do it. I've never doubted myself one bit. I don't know what you're on about. This is it. Come on. Brave Tornado. Please, Angel Woman, please. Shoot this motherfucker's head off. No. Come on. Come on. Shadow Wing. From, from the lowest threat on the field. Yes! Fuck you, you dick snot. Yes! 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 Evo Boost 2, that's fucking more like it. Yeah, fuck you, Venom Twilight. Wow, I'm not surprised those two dudes go back to normal. That was a hell of a fight. I'm Plotmon, nice to meet you. Oh my god guys, I can't believe we just won that fight, that was insane. Oh, and there's the answer to my question at the start of this video. Telmon's rookie version is this Digimon right here. Plotmon. Salomon. Whichever it was. The name on the text box says Salomon. But the Digimon actually called itself Plotmon, so there you go. New question. Clear that one up for me, guys. The parents are all happy. We're all safe. We saved the day. We saved the world. We entertained the YouTube channel. Whew, what a fucking episode. Look at that, guys. One big happy family. The fog is clearing. Now what the fuck? I want the fog back. This is weird. Oh shit, yeah. We left the Digimon world with problems still going on over there. And remember, time over here is huge time back in the Digiworld. So, like, it's been like a couple of years. So, all sorts of shit could be going on over there. Digivices together, guys. Yep, there we go. That's our ride back. Come on, parents. Don't be don't be sore losers. We're uh, we'll be back soon for dinner. That's right. Be enthusiastic. Give us encouragement. The eight digi destined are on a fucking roll. And this time we got Hikari with us as well. Wow, I love Digi One Adventure. Fucking awesome. The next episode is labeled the Four Dark Masters. Guys, thank you so much if you've managed to stick with me all the way through to the end of this episode. It was a hell of a long one. I'm going to get it up on the channel as soon as I've finished talking to you guys right now. Because I'm sure you're going to be all so excited and dying to see this one. Remember what I said? If we can get 10 likes on this video before I come home to record tomorrow, I will do a double episode. Of course I will because I love you guys. We have a new digital dungeon as well. 
Digital Dungeon bleh, Digital Dungeon E, so maybe we can chuck that in the episode as well. It all depends how you receive this episode, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your ongoing support. Guys, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Also, guys, if you want to get your own channel art or logo personally done for you, get in touch with the graphics designer that done my channel art. The uh, Skype address is on the screen.